So what we have here is the Gamer vs. Spider-Man. This is specifically called the Velocity Suit. The design and color of this Velocity Suit Spider-Man um, starts from the original design of the comic book Spider-Man. So the Velocity Suit is an upgrade from the traditional Spider-Man suit. So the Velocity Suit amplifies uh, the wearer's capabilities in strength, in stamina, and in agility so what really caught my attention with regards to purchasing this um this figure is with regards to really the um amplified uh colors and the design so we have the original design of the spider-man outfit however it's much more stylized this figure out of the box um, has uh, some kind of webbing accessory with it however um, I did not have use for it so I just discarded it and as to hands that came with the figure these are not the original hands that came with it what came with this figure as to the original hands was a for the left for the left hand is a web slinging hand and for the right hand we have a fist hand however it's um, some kind of glove black so this is the um, pair of hands that I took from in a Professor X House of X action figure from the Marvel Legends design too so they fit well and are a perfect match so that's what I used also with the um, right right hand pose. This Spider-Man also is heavily painted. So right out of box, it's a good idea to, to first loosen up the joints because there would be really uh, some kind of paint that would be sticking on the joints. So better loosen them up with the hair dryer. And after a while, you would be able to move some of the joints. But for this figure, however, this um, I still have some stuck joints over here, especially in the elbow area. So this is, I would still need to hit this area up later. However, as to the design that I was talking about, one, it's very glossy. Of course, it has to be really glossy like this and brightly colored because it's a suit of armor so that's the design of the figure very stylized um, spider design for the front and also very stylized version for the spider design on the back uh, what this figure lacks is that um, um, webbing on the forearms and on the shoulders however even though those uh, the, the webbing design from the original uh, comic book design is missing, this is still a good looking Spider-Man. And what I really love what they did with the head sculpt, it's simple looking but at the same time, it's not too bulky even though we know that it's a uh, helmet, it's not too bulky with regards to proportion to the overall figure. As for articulation on this figure, his head could move this high. His head could move this low. And from side to side. We don't have um, butterfly joints for the shoulders, however, his um, shoulders could move um, just enough to really do dynamic poses however just be careful as to when you move the shoulders this high that it won't scratch the paint on this area over here as proven by my figure I already have a scratch over here okay however we have a swivel over here for the sh uh, shoulder area two points of articulation for the elbow a rotation for the wrist and there's also a swivel 
we have a bend for the waist area and this is the other bend and what's good about this is the um, design on the armor um, extends up to the back portion where it's it is hidden if it for example the figure is on this um, pose however when you move the tor uh, the torso back it still does not um, give that um, bad design effect the design is still there and still looks good however when you move the waist either left or right that's when you have a break in the design of the suit so on the thighs we also have this um, rotation over here two points of articulation for the knees and really wide range of motion for both foot yeah so as to am i happy with this purchase of this action figure yes and but with regards just to um, being careful with the paint that's it because uh, when you do dynamic poses that's when you um, have small chips on the painted area especially on on this part on this part over here not sh not much over over here but it's going to be rubbing where two joints would meet so this area over here and under that and on the shoulder area so this is my review of the velocity suit gamer verse spider man <laughs>